for Nightbeat. And good evening, New Mexico. So, you know, just like any other pretty big city, downtown Albuquerque has seen its ups and downs over the years. Of course, the pandemic was absolutely one of those low points, but city leaders are doing what they can to swing things in the other direction. And that includes letting downtown kind of decide its own destiny. Griffin Rushton joins us in downtown where city leaders are trying to take a page out of some other cities' books, Griffin. Yeah, I mean, they sure are, and they're really hoping to see the same results here in Albuquerque. City leaders are moving forward with two big initiatives designed to put the people who live and work downtown back in the driver's seat of their community. We have continued to make downtown like this subsidy of City Hall, and that's the problem. So we're trying to sever that. But letting downtown Albuquerque determine its own future requires two things, money and power. And city leaders are making sure downtown has both. It has to be seen again, like it was in its heyday, as the center of Albuquerque, as the center of New Mexico, the place where you go, everything is downtown. Let's start with the money. Terry Bruner with the Metropolitan Redevelopment Agency says the city is ready to implement a tax increment financial district downtown. That essentially means a portion of tax revenue collected downtown will go into a fund to be reinvested downtown. We're talking up to $200 million over 20 years. A lot of those vacant properties you see downtown, we're not able to get it because we simply don't have the funding. So with the funding, we could maybe buy those properties, incentivize a developer to come in and do something new and interesting with those. Such as new housing options. I think if we could add 1,000 to 2,000 units in the next few years, that would really be a dramatic change. The power part is a bit trickier. The city is encouraging downtown property owners to come together and form a business improvement district. It's kind of like a homeowners association, giving businesses and property owners more power over how downtown is managed, including things like security, parking, and even street cleaning. For years, they looked to government to figure out how to create the right business environment downtown, and that doesn't compute. You really have to have much more influence from the business interests in the downtown area. Bruner says these initiatives are spurring growth in cities like Boise, Colorado Springs, and Tucson. And city leaders believe downtown Albuquerque deserves to be on that list. What's key to making downtown safe is lots of people. When you go downtown, sometimes there's nobody around. The more people we can get down there, make it a more encouraging place to visit for everybody. Now, Bruner says that tax increment district is actually already in place. The city just has to implement it. And he says at least 51% of business and property owners downtown would need to petition the city council to get that improvement district up and running. But even with all of that in place, Bruner says that downtown will still have to overcome its uh, negative reputation to really thrive. And it does seem that that reputation is still holding strong. So what for, for you, what is the biggest, you know, hang up about downtown right now? Uh, right now, uh, it's honestly uh, safety. Um, parking's hard. You never know if actually, like, your car is going to get broken into, um, stuff like that. Um, I'd probably live in downtown if I had a couple weapons on me or something. You know, that's the stigma is that it's a bad thing to go downtown, so no one goes downtown. But if more people were to just hang out around there and just show that it's a good time, that probably wouldn't be as bad. Yeah, city leaders are hoping new projects like the rail trail and even new businesses like the new Ex Novo Brewery location will help to start to, to work to chip away at that uh, negative reputation.